All right, here's my review of the C-Reader 6001 OBD2 scanner. And I'll let you freeze it here if you want to read up all of the uh, features that it has. It's got some nice uh, updates you can do over the internet. And you can also save data, look at data in real time. We're going to check this out in a sec. Here are, here's the back. You can look at all the features. USB port here, and then there's the actual OBD2 plug that goes into your car. I want to give this a shot. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so once you get it out of the packaging, here's what you get. Um, the LCD screen is protected here. It's nice. Uh, you've got an OK button and some function keys, which we'll look into, see what that's about. A back button. It also came with a USB cable. The connector is kind of the more standard one, not the mini, that goes in there in the base. And I would assume that's for the internet updates as well. So you plug that guy in, plug that into your computer. And then within the documentation here, folded in the middle, are the actual directions. All right, so again, you go to the website, which you see here, key that in, and then you go to the uh, CR6001, gives you more of the information. You click Update Tools downloads and now we're going to install the software. I'm going to plug this guy in here, USB. That's connected. And then we'll plug that into the computer. All right, looks like we got a firmware update. Okay, let's plug it in the OBD2 reader. So there's diagnose, settings, help, record. Okay, so we're going to purposely throw a mass airflow sensor error and see what happens. So we're going to start it up without the mass flow air sensor attached. It should give us an error. There we go. All right, so now let's see what it reads. All right, so now with it plugged in, we're going to try the di diagnostics. And it's trying all of the variations of, uh, there we go. See the ISO 9141? All right, here we go. Now we're going to read the codes. And there you go, the mass or uh, volume airflow sensor circuit. Say OK. All right, so we're going to go back. Uh, so those, that was the code that was read, and next I can erase codes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to erase the codes. Clear, reset emission. Are you sure? OK. Please turn ignition on with the engine off. Press the OK button. Processing. It's now clearing that error. OK, it's been cleared. Now let's go ahead and reconnect the mass airflow sensor and try it again. Okay, so I've reattached uh, the mass air flow sensor. We're going to start the engine. And again, that's after I cleared the code. There you go. No error. It definitely works. It read the code. That's it. That's the Sea Reader 6001. Really nice tool. Get this uh, back together here. Give it a thumbs up. Works perfectly. Hope you guys enjoy the video.